Right, another thing that comes up with us more often than you would think with the difference between builders and following International Residential Code as well as uh, the Texas Real Estate Commission is fire rated doors, fire rated access to an attic in a garage and uh, walk us through that real quick. So I did an inspection of a new house about two months ago mm -hmm. and the client email asking for help to find a certain code to provide to the builder. Um, I put on the report as deficient that the access to the attic in the garage was not fire rated. And what do we mean by that? It's this. Basically, we're looking for a label like this one. Mm -hmm. This is a sample. This is one of the labels. Some labels might be different, but this label basically explains that this cover right here, this cover, not the ladder itself, the cover, it's fire rated. It's fire rated. Okay. Um, the builder said that the attic access does not need to be fire rated because he looked it up in the code and the code doesn't say anything about the attic access being fire rated. The code that that particular city is cover is correct is using. So the attic access code, it's only going to talk about the dimensions of the access. Right. When you have mechanical equipment in the attic, it needs to be a certain size. Mm -hmm. If you go to chapter three of the IRC, section 302.6, it explains that when you have an attached garage, for example, this one, then the attic, I mean, the seating structure needs to be fire rated. The door needs to be fire rated. And this wall right here, because it's on the living space, needs to be fire rated. It and doesn't so specifically say the attic access needs to be fire rated, but because this cover is part of the ceiling structure, then this cover has to be fire rated uh -huh. by code. Again, it doesn't specifically say the attic access needs to be fire rated. And again, it's part of the ceiling. So the ceiling entirely needs to be fire rated, which will include this cover and right this, here. And this, to clarify, this is where some builders get in the gray area and they don't want to spend the money because we consider this, this section here, part of the ceiling structure. This right here. Right. And not the ladder itself, but the actual cover. We consider that part of the ceiling structure, the covering of the ceiling. So it needs to be fire protection. Uh, the fire rating needs to be on it. The builders will say there is no specific code that mentions the ladder, the access to it. And that is absolutely true. The gray area would be, does the builder consider this piece of plywood right here that's mounted to the ladder? Do they consider that part of the ladder or part of the ceiling? I would consider it part of the ceiling part of the ceiling because it is a giant access port and this is actually goes up and, and meets the ceiling and becomes part of the ceiling. So we would consider it that and that's why we call it out as code. There's also a logic to this. Okay. If this is required to be fire rated mm -hmm. and that's required to be fire rated and that's required to be fire rated, then logic would tell you that this needs to be fire rated. Right. For that builder, the logic is that if the fire starts in the, in the garage and this is not fire rated, this burns in one minute, then the fire spreads to the attic, burning the rest of the house down. That's the logic behind it. But because most builders want to save money and it's somewhat of a gray area of code, you're going to have a lot of builders that argue that that's not necessary. So we're doing this to clarify as we do more and more new builds. We're seeing that builders obviously don't want to follow uh, all the codes because they can, they can skate by some of them and, and reduce their cost. So uh, this is why we call this out. Also keep in mind, this is all about the safety of your family and your guests. The occupants or of the building. Or occupants yep. of the building, correct. Right, yeah. So and this, we're talking about life safety here. This is what I always find interesting. This, this little piece of plywood, the fire rating, getting a door like this might add $100 to the cost of a project. And the builder is essentially putting a $100 value on someone's life. And so that's why we call it out, right? Correct. Yep, all right.